Now to the case against Christopher Schur, the former Grand Rapids police officer facing charges in the death of Patrick Leoya. Today, a panel of judges heard an appeal from Schur's defense team. Schur is charged with second degree murder for killing Leoya during a traffic stop last year. 13 on your side's Elena Holland heard both sides of the hearing and tells us what happened. Well, Veronica, Christopher Scherer's attorneys are asking the appeals court to throw out the murder charge last year. A Grand Rapids jury, jury found cause to send Scherer to trial, a decision upheld by a second judge this February. With this appeal, Scherer's attorneys argue the circuit court was wrong when applying the fleeing felon and common law. Their argument is Scherer reasonably used deadly force. Meanwhile, an assistant prosecutor representing the people rebutted, saying Scherer was in control of the situation when the shots were fired. She reminded the panel of judges they were not there to argue the weeds of the case, but to determine if there are questions of facts in the case that should be submitted to a jury. Here's a look at both sides of the argument. The common law allows police officers to use deadly force to stop a felon from fleeing when the officer reasonably believed a felony had occurred and that the fleeing suspect was the one who had committed it. And here the undisputed facts showed that Mr. Leoya committed several felonies and also that he was fleeing or using force to prevent the arrest. So force could be as simple as, as a push. Force could be as simple as throwing my keys at you. And to say that an officer can lawfully use deadly force against someone who merely shoves them, that, that, what that means in the course of this case is that Officer Scher could have shot and killed Mr. Leoya almost at the instant he started running away. And that's not the law and that's never been the law. No decision was made today. There is still no time frame for the appeals court to make a decision after these arguments. We will continue to follow this case. Elena Holland, 13 on your side.